Hello dear students, we are going to be studying the essay titled Night Walkers and Mystery Mongers, Sense and Nonsense at the Edge of Science, which is part of your A02 textbook, Ways with Words. Before we get into the essay, let us have a very quick introduction to the author Carl Sagan. Carl Sagan was an American astronomer. He was born on 9th November 1934 and he passed away on 20th December 1996. He was an astronomer, cosmologist, astrophysicist, astrobiologist, author, science popularizer and science communicator. What do all these terms mean? An astronomer is somebody who studies the stars, planets, solar system, etc. A cosmologist is also something similar. A cosmologist studies the cosmos, the universe. How did the universe come into being? What is the nature of the universe? Where is the universe heading? How, how uh, is the future of the universe going to be, etc. An astrophysicist, somebody who studies the physics of astronomy, of stars, planets, etc. Astrobiologist, somebody who studies the possibility of life in space and on other planets. Author, a writer. He has written several books. We will talk more about those books in a moment. He was also a science popularizer. What does this mean? Somebody who popularizes science. So Carl Sagan's idea was that science is something that is generally taught in schools and universities and colleges, but ordinary people do not really understand science. So a science popularizer is somebody who makes science popular, who makes science easily accessible to the people, to the ordinary people. Sadharana karka science manasilaki kodka. Angana chenuralana science popularizer. Similar meaning for science communicator as well. Science popularizer, science communicator on the kaparnayal. Science in a petty sadharana manshirka uh, ordinary people. That is the where the word popular comes from. Sadharana manshirka manasilaki kodaka, communicate idu kodaka, angan chayinurala. So these are the different roles that were taken by Carl Sagan in his life and career. Now let us look at the early life of Carl Sagan. He was born in Brooklyn, a district in New York. His father named Samuel Sagan was a Ukrainian immigrant to the USA, while his mother Rachel Molly Gruber was a housewife. He had one sister named Clara and both Carl and Clara were brought up in a liberal Jewish family. A liberal Jewish family means that they uh, subscribe to the Jewish religion. They were Jewish. But they were not extremely religious. They were. They did not follow all the rules of the religion. They believed in uh, Judaism. They believed in the Jewish religion, but not in a very strict manner. Liberal is the opposite of strict. Then he did his B.Sc. and M.Sc. in physics from the University of Chicago, Illinois, and. Later, he did a PhD in astronomy and astrophysics from the same university. As a scientist, he worked as professor of astronomy at different universities, including Harvard University. But he spent most of his life as professor of astronomy at Cornell University, USA. Cornell University Lana Adiga Galo Madeham, Professor of Astronomy at a work in the other member, California, University of California, Harvard University, Polala, Prasidama University, Lila Deham work in the Tendingilum, Etum Kudal Samyam, Cornell University Lyon. He was an advisor to NASA. He, as an advisor to NASA, he gave briefings to the Apollo mission. 
the Apollo mission uh, was the mission which tried to put uh, human beings on the moon, which first sent human beings to the moon with Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin going to the moon. We are all familiar with the story of the Apollo mission. And Carl Sagan was somebody who advised the people who were the scientists who were working behind the Apollo spacecraft. Uh, he also assembled the first physical messages sent into space. So on the right side of the slide you can see a picture uh, which is one of these physical messages that was sent into outer space. So there were some spacecrafts, space probes actually. So they were unmanned spacecrafts. Uh, robotic at a remote at a space like I can the space craft pioneer 10 and pioneer 11 and the barnet in 1972 and 1973 these spacecrafts were uh, the space probes were sent into outer space and there was this idea that we will put some objects in that spacecraft so that if any aliens discover that spacecraft they will understand about the earth its inhabitants and their culture so you can see some of the pictures that were drawn here there is a there are two human figures a man and a woman and they are greeting the man has his hands raised in greeting as if to say that we are friendly and then there are many other symbols which were actually designed by Carl Sagan then uh, Sagan was also a pioneer of exobiology. Exobiology basically means the biology of aliens or rather the uh, study of whether there are any life forms in outer space. Now when we say life forms, it is not actually the kind of aliens that we see in movies or in science fiction stories but even small microbes or small organisms. So for a long time, NASA and generally human beings have been trying to find out if there is any possibility of life on other planets in our solar system or in generally outside anywhere in the universe. And uh, the we have not yet discovered such uh, uh, life forms, but we also realize that we may not find uh, other people who look just like us rather uh, we are looking for the possibility of even very small organisms existing because if small organisms can exist then maybe we can make that place habitable or maybe there is a possibility that uh, different kinds of beings will evolve from those small organisms so he is a pioneer of exobiology and he also promoted the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. The search for extraterrestrial intelligence is a particular kind of mission by NASA. It is uh, also called SCTI, search for extraterrestrial intelligence. And extraterrestrial intelligence, what does this mean? It is the uh, search for intelligent life forms outside the earth. Terra means earth, terrestrial means dealing with the earth, extraterrestrial means outside the earth, so in other planets, extraterrestrial uh, and extraterrestrial intelligence means any intelligent living beings that live outside the earth. So there is a search going on for uh, to find out whether there are any intelligent living beings outside the earth and Carl Sagan promoted that search. So this, these were some of his uh, major contributions as a scientist. Apart from this, Sagan published more than 600 scientific articles and was the author, co-author and editor of more than 20 books. So apart from scientific articles, he wrote many books and many of his books were, as I mentioned earlier, popular science books which means that they were books which made extremely uh, scientific things accessible and understandable to the ordinary people. So some of his famous books are The Dragons of Eden, Speculations on the Evolution of Human Intelligence published in 1977, Broca's Brain 
Reflections on the Romance of Science, published in 1979, and Pale Blue Dot, A Vision of the Human Future in Space, published in 1994. Apart from this, Sagan was the author and narrator of the award-winning 1980 television series Cosmos, A Personal Voyage. Cosmos, A Personal Voyage, and the Barata, 1980, uh, television series uh, author he was a co-author meaning he and somebody else wrote that series together he was also the narrator that voice narration he was the narrator television series this is cosmos is actually a series about the universe it is a television series that tries to make uh, us understand the nature of the universe in a simple manner Apart from that, he also wrote a science fiction novel named Contact, which was published in 1985 and which was adapted into a film in 1997. The film was also titled Contact. Now, let us watch a very short video clip from the series Cosmos, A Personal Voyage narrated by Carl Sagan. So we can hear how Carl Sagan speaks and we can get a sense of what he is saying. This is from a YouTube video. From this distant vantage point, the Earth might not seem of any particular interest. But for us, it's different. Consider again that dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it, everyone you love, everyone you know, everyone you ever heard of, every human being who ever was, lived out their lives. The aggregate of our joy and suffering, thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines, every hunter and forager, every hero and coward, every creator and destroyer of civilization, every king and peasant, every young couple in love, every mother and father, hopeful child, inventor and explorer, every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived there on the mote of dust suspended in a sunbeam. The earth is a very small stage in a vast cosmic arena. Think of the rivers of blood spilled by all those generals and emperors so that in glory and triumph they could become the momentary masters of a fraction of a dot. Think of the endless cruelties visited by the inhabitants of one corner of this pixel on the scarcely distinguishable inhabitants of some other corner. How frequent their misunderstandings. How eager they are to kill one another. How fervent their hatreds. Our posturings, our imagined self-importance, the delusion that we have some privileged position in the universe are challenged by this point of pale light. Our planet is a lonely speck in the great enveloping cosmic dark. In our obscurity, in all this vastness, there is no hint that help will come from elsewhere to save us from ourselves. The Earth is the only world known so far to harbor life. There is nowhere else, at least in the near future, to which our species could migrate. Visit? Yes. Settle? Not yet. Like it or not, for the moment, the Earth is where we make our stand. It has been said that astronomy is a humbling and character-building experience. There is perhaps no better demonstration of the folly of human conceits than this distant image of our tiny world. To me, it underscores our responsibility to deal more kindly with one another and to preserve and cherish the pale blue dot, the only home we've ever known. So 
this uh, video is not the original video it has been mixed with some other popular images and all that but you would have listened to his voice and the kind of ideas that he's saying so even though he's talking about scientific things about astronomy outer space the relation between earth and the other planets etc uh, he has a very uh, philosophical way of speaking about it so this is how uh, Carl Sagan tried to communicate science to the ordinary people uh, we will conclude by talking about some of the important awards that Carl Sagan uh, gained as a recognition of his work and on the right side you can see the cover of his novel contact the science fiction novel so he received a lot of awards and some of the most important ones are the nasa distinguished public service medal the national academy of science public welfare medal the pulitzer prize for general non-fiction for the book the dragons of eden and he got two MA awards, the Peabody Award and the Hugo Award for the series Cosmos A Personal Voyage. So these are some very basic points about Carl Sagan. Namala Adta lesson modala namaka essay vaikam essay in the detail like Ariangala Namka Sam Sarikam Paksha e to video la namala I send author Aya Carl Sagan Apati while her brief fight on you can you guys can look up more about Carl Sagan online and you will find a lot of uh, videos you will also find a lot of writings about what kind of a person he was so that is something that you can do by yourself if there is anything that you didn't understand in this video if you have any doubt and any questions or you want to just you know contribute to the discussion then you can write a comment in the google classroom where i have posted this video okay so if you doubts in google classroom uh, link in a tare, Ningal comment at Chocha, Namka, on the Gilavatana and answer, Lingil Aditha class, Namka the ne, answer like a poanoka. So uh, I hope that uh, we will be able to um, going forward. I hope that you know things will be clearer and we will be able to have a fruitful discussion of this essay, Nightwalkers and Mystery Mongers by Carl Sagan. Thank you.